Hey traders, welcome to my channel. Do you guys know one of the most common questions I get on Instagram, on YouTube is that how do I get filled on my orders? Because if you guys have seen my previous recaps, I get filled on my orders without clicking any button on the monitor. I have my hotkeys set up. In this video, I will walk you guys through my platform setup from start to end, including how do I get filled on my orders using the hotkeys. This is my Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation platform. This is the default free platform offered by Interactive Brokers. If you have an account with them, you can directly download this platform from their website and log in using your account and password. What I will do for this video, I will open a new tab. I will name that tab maybe YouTube so that I can show you guys how my platform is set up from start to end. The first window is the options trader window because I am an options trader. But if you trade stocks, you can use the book trader window that is right here. If you click on new window, this book trader window can be used for stocks trading. But if you guys are trading options, you can still use the book trader window. But I would highly recommend using the options trader window because one of the questions I get is that I can't place mid price orders on the book trader window. And that's the downside. If you're using the book trader window, you can't place mid price orders on options. But if you are using options trader window, you can use the mid price orders on options. The second window I have down at the bottom on the left is the watch list. That is simple. I will set the watch list here. I only have one call when I'm trading. So that is the watch list. Third window I have is the quote details. I will explain the reasoning of this window. Now this window is not a requirement, but what I like because when I click on a strike, say for example, 240 calls, or if I click on 235 calls, so I can look at the strike bid price right here, bid and ask instead of looking at the platform, looking at the options trader window and looking at precisely, okay, 235, the bid is at 0.01 or something. That's why I like this code details window so that it shows me the bid and ask price of the option I'm trading at that point. Finally, the last window I have is called the orders window so that I can keep a track of my orders. So this is the order window right at the bottom. I have it maximized right here. You can choose to see your live orders that are currently active at the moment, all orders that are filled and you have exited your trades, canceled orders, completed orders. Usually I use the all orders tab. Now you guys might ask me a question, where's your PL? I don't keep my PNL on the screen when I'm trading because I think PNL is very distracting. I have my PNL on a separate tab. If I click on options right at the bottom, this shows me my PNL. If you guys have seen my recaps, that is the window I focus on when I'm showing you guys my PNL. You can check out my recaps, but that window is precisely showing my PNL, my account details, and everything. But my main trading window is like this. Once the layout is set up, the most important thing you guys have to do is to color code this tab. For this video, I will name these tabs group seven. All of these should be group seven so that what will happen, you can set this as group seven, group six, it doesn't matter because it will show you all your orders. But what will happen now, for example, I'm trading Amazon. I enter Amazon on the watch list. I will click on Amazon right here. It will change my options trader to show the options, contract, strike prices of Amazon. And then I can even have Tesla right here. So I can switch to Tesla, Amazon, just with the click of a button and all the windows will change accordingly. Now, once the layout is set up, it's pretty easy to change between the stocks. You can select Amazon, Tesla, NVDA, AMD, whatever that is, it's pretty easy, right? But for me, I am a bit lazy. So what I have done right here at the bottom, I have just copied the window and then I have named those windows. For example, my top four stocks for the day are Tesla, Netflix, NVDA, and maybe MRNA, right? Right at the bottom, I have four of these windows. I can switch between the stocks by just clicking on these windows. So these windows are individually color coded. I showed you guys, you have seven groups. I have this green setup. If I click on Netflix, Netflix is red. So I have specific tabs for each and every stock I'm trading for that day. I almost forgot, but the first time you set up this platform, the font size will be very big compared to what you're seeing at the moment. You will have different columns like Theta, Gamma, and all the Greeks of options trading, but I have removed those columns because when I'm scalping, I don't care what the Theta is or what the Gamma is. I, I like to focus on Delta when I'm scalping, but when I'm getting in and out in like two or four minutes, I don't want to look at the Theta, right? 
That's why I have removed those columns. You can simply remove those columns by going in settings. Similarly, in the code details window, once you set up this window for the first time, you will see a lot of details here. You will see the IV, you will see the dividends, and you will see a lot of stuff that you don't need when you are day trading. I see the IV right here. So I don't need the reputation of IV down at the bottom. So similarly, you can click on the settings and you can remove the data that you don't want when you are trading. I started out with the default setting, but once I started trading with this platform, I modified it along the way because I was like, I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this when I'm trading. That's what I would highly recommend to only keep the things that you need when you are trading and remove all the other distractions. I don't have charts set up on this platform because for my charting and my level two, I use the platform called Dash Trader Pro. I will give you guys a brief overview of that platform at the end of this video. But coming to the hotkeys, because my hotkeys are set up on the options trader window. For hotkeys, you have to click on settings, go in settings, then you have to click on the hotkeys of the options trader window. If you trade stocks, you can do the same kind of thing, but you have to select the hotkeys in the book trader window if you are using the book trader. Now the most common hotkeys are buying and selling. For buying, you have to click on buy and record the shortcut. For me, buying is always control. So control one, control two, control three, buying one contract, three contracts, five contracts, whatever you can change it according to your convenience for selling for me it's shift so s is for selling s for shift you guys get the idea shift one is to sell one contract but once that keyboard shortcut has been recorded you have to click on customize so action is buy which is good size will be absolute for control one for an example i'm clicking one i will get filled one contract Order type will be limit. I never use market orders. You might choose to do otherwise, but I never use market orders when I'm trading options. Then limit price will be ask and I will change the offset to zero. That's how I have set up. I leave everything else as it is. By default, I don't change anything else. But the most important thing you have to click is transmit the order instantaneously. This is because if you click yes here, that means when you click the hotkey, you will get filled immediately. It won't ask you for a confirmation, but if it asks you for confirmation, then it defeats the purpose of hotkeys, right? You are using hotkeys so that you get filled very, very fast, as fast as you can. So you have to click this. I have my hotkey set up with this button clicked on all my hotkeys. Then you click OK. That is pretty much it. But I have my hotkey already set up. I will click no and you can do the same thing for selling. Another thing to note here, if you want to have mid price orders, I get this question a lot because sometimes when I'm trading a stock like Amazon or shop with very wide spreads in the options premiums, I have the mid price order as well. Click on absolute, same thing again, same story. Then you have to click on order type limit. You can use mid price, but I don't know, like I tried this once, it wasn't working for me. Click on limit and then you have to click on bid ask midpoint and click on the amount zero again. Once you have the buying and selling enabled, I think this is by default, this escape button that will cancel the order because sometimes you click the order, you don't get filled, but you don't want to chase it and you want to cancel the order. You can just click the escape button, which is linked to my stream deck again. And I think this is by default, but if you don't have it, you could just have to click on cancel or orders and set the hotkey as escape. Another hotkey that I use frequently is modify price because sometimes when I don't get filled at the ask, I want to update the price of the existing order to ask price. For example, I want to get filled at $10. I'm not getting filled. The option price is at 10.2 at the moment. I still like the trade. I don't want to cancel the order and fill the order again. So that's why one of the most important hotkeys is to modify price. What this will do, it will modify the price of your existing order and it will modify to the ask or bid. For example, sometimes I want to get into a position, but I'm not getting filled. I will modify the price to ask price. Similarly, I want to exit a position. I'm not getting filled at the bid. Instead of placing a market order, I change the price of the existing order to the bid price. And it's pretty easy to set. You click on the modify price. You select the hotkey right here, the keyboard button, whatever you want, according to your convenience. Set price to ask. So you will have two different hotkeys to update the order for buying to ask price. For selling, you update the order price to bid price. And then the same story again, you have to click this button and click OK to set up the hotkey. That is pretty much it. Once you have your hotkey set up, you can use the keyboard to place the orders. That's what I was doing when I was starting out, when I was only taking one to five contracts. But as you increase your size, the hotkeys also increase, right? So you are taking one, two, three, five contracts. Then you want more hotkeys for 20 contracts, 
30 contracts and it was too much for me to remember on the keyboard. That's why I got a stream deck. The link will be in the description box below. This is my stream deck setup. It's very easy. You have to download it from Google. Just search on Google stream deck download. You will download this application. This will link your stream deck to this application. Now what you do right here, you have to set up the hotkeys. For me on the keyboard, buy one ask was control Q. Buy one at the mid price is control one, the hotkeys that we set up on the platform. You just have to link those hotkeys on the stream deck. To create these icons, what you do is that you will click on this arrow, create new icon. It will take you to a web page. You can create the icons from there. How to set up the hotkeys on stream deck. This is the blank button I have on the stream deck. You drag this hotkey under the system right here and your hotkey on your platform is say for example control J. So you click on control J. Now once you click that hotkey on the stream deck that will mimic the function of control J on the platform and you will get filled according to the hotkey you have set up on the platform. Pretty easy. Once you have set up the hotkeys on the platform you have linked them to the stream deck. The next step is how do you actually get filled. It's pretty easy. For example I want to buy one contract of 205 calls. I will click on the C in front of this strike price. Click on C, it will load up in the code details window. So I know that I'm getting filled in 205 calls. If I wanna select 210, you will see at the bottom, it changed to 210 calls. I click on 210, I click my hotkey on the stream deck, I get filled. This is the platform I use for executions for placing my orders. Then I have a different platform called Dash Trader Pro that I use for my charting and level two. If you guys ask me why do I have two different platforms, I don't know. I don't know the reason for that. I started out with Dash Trader Pro. I think it has the best level two in the game. If you guys have seen my recaps, my trading is highly dependent on reading level two. And if you are a day trader, reading level two and learning how to read it is very, very important. That's why at the moment, I'm still using Dash Trader Pro for my charting and level two. If you choose to completely use interactive brokers, this platform for your trading, you have to add the chart as well. You click on new window, add the chart, then you add the market depth, that is the level two, and then you add the time and sales. I think that is pretty much it you need for day trading but you will also need the market data subscriptions. I don't have those on Interactive Brokers TWS because I pay Dash Trader Pro for my market data subscriptions. But if you guys go to the client portal, you will know what to add. This is my Dash Trader Pro setup. It's a very complex and comprehensive platform. If I give an in-depth review and in-depth tutorial of this platform, it's gonna be 20 minutes long. So if you guys want me to make a separate video on completely this platform, let me know in the comment section below. The first thing you have to do, Click on setup, click on other configuration and change it to dark mode because by default it's on dash default, which is white. It looks very, very ugly. It looks like a platform from 1980s, but you can modify it. You can modify each and every aspect of Dash Trader Pro. So it's very customizable. That's the good thing about Dash Trader Pro. Now for me, why I am not switching from Dash to interactive brokers. Firstly, I have a lot of hotkeys, space bar. I can draw the horizontal line. Shift T, I can draw a trend line. So these are the two hotkeys I used every single day. Another thing is that I can switch between the one minute, five minutes with my mouse, one minute, five minutes, then the daily chart, which is pretty handy as well. Now the indicators I have on this platform is the nine and 20 EMA, these dotted lines. This is the VWAP, this is the 50 SMA. How to add the indicators? You right click on the chart, go in study configuration, then you add these indicators, VWAP, moving averages, 50, 9, 20, volume by price, which is the volume profile on the left hand side. And the important thing is that the, these price markers, what these price markers do, they mark the pre-market high, pre-market low automatically for me. They also mark the yesterday high, yesterday low, day before yesterday high, day before yesterday low automatically. So on a lot of other platforms, I know a lot of traders do them manually every single market open day. For me, this is a big convenience factor. When I'm late to my trading desk, I have these levels marked automatically by the platform every single market open day. These are all my chart windows. This is a diamond sales window. It shows me all the orders above 75 shares. At the bottom, it's again a diamond sales window. It shows me all the orders above 1000 shares. If I click on config, it's going to show me the orders above 1000 shares. What this means is that I can keep a track of where the big money is flowing through when I'm trading. This big window on the right hand side is the montage window. This is the window that is the main window. It is linked to all other windows. How do you link it? You click on this anchor point and you drag it to these windows. So what this means is that if you change the stock name on this window, it will change all the other windows. For example, if I change from NVDA to Tesla, 
it will change all the charts and all the windows to show me the details of the Tesla stock. As I told you guys, this platform is highly customizable. Just to give you guys an example, if you click on level two config, you can change all the colors, but that is not where it ends. You can even click on the font and it, you can select different kind of fonts. You can change from bold, italic, change the font size and everything about this platform. So that, that is the reason I love this platform because it's highly customizable. Before you go, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for a lot more content on day trading and if you guys have any questions post a comment down below i will get back to you as soon as i can in this video i showed you guys all my platforms the tws platform which i use for order executions then i use my dash trader pro for my charting and level two how i have my hotkey set up my stream deck and everything the only thing that is remaining is the trading view application trading view which is the charting application i use on my ipad and mobile phone i don't use that software when i'm trading actually it's just charting on the go and looking at my levels when I'm not in front of my setup thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video